Welcome to the first sneak preview of PeachPy Compiler. There's still a lot of work to be done, but we can already demonstrate at this point how to use the compiler for building .NET portable class libraries and integrating with the c -sharp project. PeachPy is an open source project. In order to compile our first little demo, we need to open a solution that can be found on our GitHub and build it. As a result, we get two groups of libraries. The first couple are in the compiler itself, which has its own command line client. Its goal is to produce a .NET assembly from PHP code. We can also find the so-called runtime, which has to be included with any compiled application. It is a set of supporting classes, which the compiled PHP application will need in order to run. Let's demonstrate this. I prepared a PHP script with a Leibniz function for Pi, which we wrote about in an earlier blog post. We will add some code that will use this function. It will first call it and then write out the result. We will then create a class with a method that we can call from C-sharp code. For the purposes of our demo, it will be a simple class without any inheritance with a static method we can call. Besides a declaration of classes and functions, at the time that we are making this demo, PeachPy can already also call global functions, which we will show in a second. We will add a documentation commentary where we specify the parameter type. PeachPy will use this information to generate .NET code. As a side note, in the future, this information will be inferred from the code itself through the interprocedural analysis. We can now compile the test script with PeachPy into an executable file. We will use argument slash target. And now we can run it. Now we will translate the same thing as a portable class library. We will use the argument slash target library. The resulting output will be a DLL file, which we can look at in more detail. We will use the tool ILSpy, which is used for the decompilation of assemblies. Now we are looking at PHP code compiled into MSIL and decompiled into the C-sharp language. We can take note of several unconventional symbols, which PeachPy uses for internal representation of things that C-sharp generally doesn't know. For the sake of this demo, we will now use the library. We will create a new C-sharp project. We'll call it PeachPy Test. We will jump to the references of the C-sharp project. Now we will add two new ones, one for the supporting PeachPy runtime, and a second one for our test.dll with the compiled PHP code. From here on out, we will basically only use the method from our DLL as if it were written in a standard .NET language. An interesting aspect is that PeachPy functions require a context as the first parameter. It is a supporting object which represents the PHP thread and will be used frequently from here on for simulation of the PHP environment. Note that PHP has neatly typed parameters and returns the typed value double. The result can be written with a traditional c -sharp style. Now we will launch the application. I will set a breakpoint on the first line and start the debug. This is the standard Visual Studio debug environment. We can see the diagnostic tools. We can also see the local variables and call stack. The conventional debug experience. Soon it will also be possible to step into the PHP code. 
This was a quick demonstration of the early stage possibilities of PeachPy compiler. Visit our blog at blog.peachpy.io or our GitHub for more information.